Today on Common Man Cocktails, we are licking peeps. Licking? Licking. Well, liquefying. We're going to liquefy some peeps. The liquid peep cocktail. It's going to be really awesome. This episode is sponsored by Stefan, Joseph, Linda, Ray, and Amy, and many others. Thanks for supporting the show. You can show your support by donating at everydaydrinkers.com slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Liquid Peeps. This recipe has the legacy of Dr. McGillicuddy. This recipe has Dr. McGillicuddy's intense raw vanilla. And that's who submitted it hmm? on Twitter. Yes, submitted by Dr. McGillicuddy on Twitter. The recipe I kind of made up because they just sent me what the ingredients should be. Also, whipped vodka, so I've got some of that. And... What I did is I put this on Facebook, facebook.com slash cocktail TV, and twitter.com slash everyday drinker. I asked, need some Easter ideas for recipes, and I got some good ones. I got some comments that I didn't really know what to do with uh, because it required me to do more research, and I am too damn lazy. So. And you got like a punch or some sort with like a whole bottle of Everclear. Yeah, or I didn't have a bottle of Everclear for that one. So <laughs> I went with one of the ones that Dr. McGillicuddy suggested. We're going to take some sugar-rimmed shot glasses mm -hmm. for our peeps. Word up, peeps. I'll use my licked one. Yeah, you already you keep taking ones and licking them. Oh, that's fun. Um, you know. No, I don't. You know what they say about people who lick their peeps? They have problems. <laughs> you can brush your teeth a lot. Um, okay. You know, no. they're homies. You lick them? Eh. Lame. If you have to explain the joke. I didn't. Just you. You did. <laughs> Everybody else knows where I was going with that. Right. They do. So, what do you think this is going to taste like? I don't know. It should taste really good. I actually like that vanilla schnapps. Yes. It's the, really uh, good. And, and I then didn't you add, add whip, the whipped cream to it with I'm, whipped vodka. I am thinking wrong. they had that little, do you see the coupon? I didn't even think, I, I, could, I wish I could read in the store. But the coupon on the <laughs> When top, you walk into stores, you just become illiterate? Yeah. Oh, all the that's a bad problem. And all the stuff. I, was, I just look at pretty <laughs> You're like ADHD. Ooh, yeah. shiny things. Pretty much. <laughs> well, on the label, it said buy three and save like a lot of money. It was only like $15. These aren't that expensive. Um, so I could have almost got like a half of one for free if I just bought three. And there's all kinds of flavors, so it's like, why not? I wonder if they're all as good. What are the flavors? Of course. Why would they make one good one all the rest are all crappy? To lure you in. You're like, ooh, that's that a... vanilla one's awesome. Let's buy this one. Oh, this one sucks. That's one way to lure a customer <laughs> in. Talk about customer satisfaction. Hey, you could be a brand loyalist like those Apple fanatics. We have a lot of apples. I don't think most people have 10 Macs in their house. Probably not, but we're not a fanatic. <laughs> no, we, we just need, we're power users. We just need them. Business, pleasure. They're not all ours. Most are somehow owned by or for us. Whether we paid for them or not. Some we just stole from an Apple store. <laughs> yeah, we just were. <laughs> we hijacked an Apple store. They're truck. pretty heavy. I don't know if you can go in and steal stuff from an Apple store. No, they keep it all in the back. Oh. Glad you've been casing the joint. <laughs> totally. So, I'm just going to hijack the truck. That would rock. <laughs> an Apple delivery truck. Yeah. I don't think they advertise what their trucks look like. So I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to a real peep. And then this one. You ready? I sure did. It's like a peep. Doesn't look very nice, though. Looks like dirty water. <laughs> I was not expecting the hit. It's fairly intense. 
happy Easter, everybody. So, it's good. It's got that power of vanilla and that stuff in there. Marshmallow? Yeah, I'm gonna tongue my marshmallow. Lovely. Does it taste like a peep? Well, the thing is, it's like we have marshmallow vodka, so you could've used that, but I think that would've been overboard. Because a peep doesn't really taste like marshmallow. It tastes like caramelized sugar. Right? All you taste is really sugar from a peep. Huh? Is that all you taste is yeah. sugar from a peep? It's just like... So... Ooh, the sugar's melting. If you think that... Here's the problem. If you think this is going to be just like a peep, and you take that shot, you realize most peeps aren't saturated in vodka. That would be cool, though. <laughs> it would be cool. And I'm sure it's been done. A uh, peep vodka probably exists. My belly's warm. Let me tell you what. It is... It's... It is sweet vanilla flavor, but it will punch you in the throat. Right there. Just like it's, it's pretty strong. That said, it's pretty sweet. Sweet and strong. Can't go wrong. Whoa, that was awesome. You're a poet and you didn't even know it. I know. So, this is good. This week has been very sticky. Good. I think this is a great, I already used a starter, so this is a finisher for... You know, you've, you started with your Easter egg cocktail or whatnot, maybe you moved into a palm, a palm truffle, and then you got to finish it up. Everybody's still there. Everybody gets their one shot. Cheers. Boom. You put it down. Everybody goes, whoa. <laughs> and then throws up everywhere. Celebrate the night. Um, so there you go. That is that is the liquid peeps. It's pretty cool. Good use of the McKillicuddy. We'll probably have to find some new uses for it because I got a whole bottle here and maybe three more coming if I want to save $15, so I don't know. Um, you know how to save $15? Don't, don't buy three more bottles. Spend it. That's right. Question of the day, what... Um, nope. What would be a good question? We already asked them what they're doing. I don't know. What do you guys eat? What do you eat for Easter? What do we eat for Easter? Or what do you put in your Easter baskets? for your, If you have kids. Or if you are a kid, well... You're really starting to confuse me now. <laughs> then what do you get in your Easter basket? I'm getting a headache. When I was, in, I think I still got an Easter basket, like, even in college. <laughs> oh, yeah. At that point, I was getting, like, <laughs> Actually, only t-shirts if I was and stuff. And maybe a box of condoms. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no. no. Um, yeah, like, t-shirts and more adult stuff. You didn't really get a big pile of candy or, or stuffed animals or anything. But, yeah, I guess that's a good question. What did you... You, you can answer either or both, whatever. We've been getting a crap ton of new people on YouTube. So, awesome. Thanks for that. And since there's, we usually get 50, 60 comments a day if I ask a good question. Like that pineapple, what's sweeter, pineapple juice or orange juice? See, I, I was right. I was like one person who agreed with me, and they said they only agreed with me because I was the host. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so uh, really, no one agreed with you. Uh, pineapple sweeter, apparently. Told you so. But... So we get so many comments, what do you eat for Easter dinner? What do you get in your Easter baskets? Or put, or put in your Easter baskets now that you're older um, and you're giving Easter baskets to other people, whatnot. Kids, probably not or, people. Or your nephews, You don't nieces. show up to Easter and exchange Easter baskets. Well, when our grandparents come over, they bring over Easter baskets for the kids. So you could be a grandparent. Demographic fits. We've got 30 plus. We get some 12 year olds too. That's a little weird, but whatever. So there you go. Liquid peeps. Something to do, and it clears up after the shake, and it looks very liquidy. That would be your cousin. My cousin? Christopher. Oh, yeah, he watches, huh? Hey, Christopher. So, <laughs> everydaydrinkers.com. I'm going to teach you how to drink. <laughs>